Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup episode number two as our gargoyle fighter. Um, we were kind of just examining the rest of this floor trying to avoid Sigmund, evil, evil Sigmund. Um, and we're going to look for a staircase down which hopefully allows us to avoid him, so probably not... Oh, so our options are limited. We could go all the way around. I might chance trying to get to this one because we can always backtrack. By the way, do we have plate armor? We do. Oh, it looks like we're going to be able to make it down here fine. Um, it is not a great idea to leave him on the floor above you, but it's a much worse idea to try to fight him at this point. So we'll get back to him eventually. And now we can just continue as normal. Oh, tab, oh, tab, oh, tab, oh, tab. <clears throat> this is a tab situation. This is an O oh situation. Tab situation. So, I haven't um, posted the first video. I'm probably going to record a couple of videos. This one, and maybe one more even, before I get to... Uh, so now, yeah, we'll be in Gorge for the rest of this. Uh, probably until, like, we equip another amulet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I'm going to do a few videos, which means I'm not going to be able to get feedback from you guys quite yet on what you enjoy. Ooh, strength. We'll take strength. Always strength. So yeah, I can tell we got one int. I think you start at like 18, 17, whatever. 8, 9 are the bottom two. The top strength changes too quickly for me to monitor. Again, thanks to Paradox Interactive for leaving their music open so that I can use it. Very happy about that. I, I really like it. I think it's a good fit. And I think we'll go ahead and heal here. And this is exactly why you do sometimes need to heal. Because an orc was apparently following us. We'll butcher his corpse, and how did he get around? Oh, from here? Did he go in a loop? Possibly. I mean, I generally what you should do is kind of explore in a circle. Uh, this is going to be... What is this? Is this Gozag? No. Um, what altar is this? I can't remember. Oh, I, I think this is actually a different god. I've had Gozag in here before, but this time it's going to be the, the plant god. Blossoming altar of Fedos. Okay, Fedos. I'll just go ahead and kneel at it. We already have a god, so this is not important for us. Although the shiny one does not mind if you decide to leave them. Wait, I'm not... I don't have a god. <laughs> I don't have a god. Why? I, I'm so often the shining one that I forgot I don't have a god yet. Anyway. Dramatic music. Cue the dramatic music. Turn mine down a little bit. Maybe I'll turn yours down a little bit, too. Just give me a second. Uh, yeah, do something like this. That probably didn't change much, but rest with the five. Number five, kill. Go, go, go. Now, this is a dangerous foe. Whoops. He's only dangerous because I guess we have enough hit points. No, I mean, he could kill us. I think a giant spike club. I can't remember exactly how much that can do, but this could probably kill us. I don't know why it only says dangerous. To me, this is like, extremely dangerous. So... We'll probably... I don't want to go up because Sigmund could be waiting for us up there, but... We have no choice. So we're going to try to go to the next downstairs. Which is just south of us. Assuming that we don't encounter Sigmund on the way, and we didn't, thankfully. We'll go down here instead. Let's try this again. And we're right next to our previous position. Oh, look at this. These are dancing hand axes. So they are extremely dangerous. Okay, but they are apparently boxed in. Interesting. Oh, they're dancing because of the dance god, of course. <laughs> Uskaya? 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 <laughs> He's the god of dancing. So you kind of it's kind of an interesting... I don't... I'm gonna run back this way. Uh, it's kind of an interesting playstyle. You... Dance. <laughs> I do want this potion, even though I, that ogre might have hurt us, so we're gonna be a little bit careful. Well, I don't think there's any way around it now, so we'll just... Well, if you want to talk about dancing, we'll just dance this guy around the circle. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag him over here. Oh my gosh! 
Oh, gosh. Okay, well, we're fighting now, and that's why I didn't want to fight him. We're probably dead. He's almost dead. We did it. Oh, I thought we were dead, but I didn't see any any other way around it. Okay, we could have done something like. Oh, we can just gonna take a while to heal. We could have started quaffing potions or trying to read scrolls to see if we could get something which helps. Um, didn't work out that way. We did just. I I actually had a feeling that he got very lucky with those first two, and it doesn't mean he couldn't have. Oh my gosh, what is this dungeons for? And we did, we did finding an altar to the shining one. I'm gonna go this way first, although, you know what, that's kind of silly. Or oh, is this a trick? No, it's a real Shining One altar. When I see Zom now, I'm never sure. Uh, Zom, he does... I don't... Did I already show this to you? Zom, did we already encounter him before this? He does this trick where he... You go up to the altar and, yeah, they disappear. <laughs> Anyways, a Shining One is a perfectly acceptable god for us. To me, Oskoaru and the Shining One are the two best gods. So we'll go ahead and pray... For the shining one to help us. Shining room welcomes us. It's gonna give us a nice aura, um, which does. Oh, Zen. I, I actually haven't done a Zen run. Shields you from chaos. He recites his axioms. That's right. You do need uh, to work on invocations a lot for this path. That's right. Mutations. Uh, and you can donate money to Zim for more piety. Okay, that's right. Just recalling all these things. You can look up, I mean, there's a Crawlpedia or Crawl Wikipedia, Dungeon, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup Wiki, which is very informative. It's basically going to give you all the information you need. Done exploring. Wow, this was a kind of a short one. I'm not sure if I should go down and kill Sigmund now or if I should go up, but let's go down. Oh my gosh, let's go up. <laughs> we only have to deal with one of these guys now, and he does have a halberd, I think. Yeah, he does. Um, so he's not going to be... He's more of a ranged fighter. As in... Oh, now we're going to have to drag both of these up. Since we're going to drag both of them up, we might as well just not drag them up, because we can fight them right here. And what is this? Wand of Ice Blast. That is a fantastic... One of the best, I would say. I always like to do these, especially when you have the ability to. In fact, did I already clear whoops, all the other... Let's let's go up real fast. Were there any... These are all downstairs. Was there any um, escape hatch? No. So no escape hatch on four. No escape hatch on three. Or I mean, we already took it uh, up to four. So let's go back down to five. And we took the escape hatch up on this one already. So... Uh, those escape hatches very rarely can lead to somewhere that you cannot reach with the other paths, like an isolated segment. And that's Gozag, I guess? Yeah. Rations are good still to keep, even though we have that amulet, because we won't always have that amulet. Eventually might end up in a situation. I've never run out of rations. I've never died due to not having rations. This is, again, a zombie adder is just terrifying if you're not a gargoyle. <laughs> but considering we are a gargoyle, we don't need to worry about that. Probably should rest, and we'll just let Auto Explore do its thing. And kill these guys. These imp this imp teleports, but now. Rats. Boy, he's being annoying. Just tap, 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 tap. And our first shop. So this is just like the, uh, just like the other things we run into, like the altars, the staircases. We hit greater than to look at it. And I'm gonna buy anything which is unknown. The reason why I like to buy these is because it does. It actually serves two purposes and one. Uh, this is a great general store, by the way. I really like it. We might even get those boots. Um, first of all, you get the item, so Potion of Agility is nothing to scoff at. It's actually probably not going to help us late. I, I like to use my Potion of Agilities early as a fighter, since eventually mm, evasion just doesn't help us. Um, but it'll help us early on, especially in, you know before we put on plate armor. <laughs> um, that's a great potion for us to use against Sigmund, I think. Now, Scroll of Enchant armor. 
Also a very, very good thing. Obviously it gives you a plus one to your AC for most things. I guess if you put it on a shield, it gives you plus one to shield. Anyway, uh, it's really good. It gives you one other armor class on an item that you usually only use it on items which are already good. You make them even better. The most, like the biggest reason why I actually buy these though I may not need agility, for example, but I buy it so that I know what the potion is. We don't know which, which potion this is. I mean, you could actually look and say, okay, it's the black one. But let's go ahead and buy them. And we will have only 15 gold pieces left, but I think it's worth it. Go into our inventory and look. We already had one scroll of enchant armor that we would have had to have used. Uh, we didn't even have a potion of agility uh, yet, so... Now we know those potions forever. We don't have to waste a scroll of identify, which is probably the six. Generally, I mean, you can start reading scrolls. Dungeon five is a perfectly fine place to read scrolls. Why did we get, I guess we killed that imp and it gave us some. So our aura, I, have I explained the shining one yet? I don't think I have. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I have, but um, the shining one, let's just take a look at the shining one. The carrot or the shift six, it's gonna show us our religion stuff. So, followers of the Shining One are bound to the code of honorable warrior, soldiers, and their gods' eternal crusade against evil. For forsaken dark magic and underhanded tactics, the Shining One rewards them and their allies with the power they need to slay demons and the undead. Especially devout warriors can even call upon angels in time of need. The Shining One's followers can convert the uh, to Elverlon or Zin while keeping some piety. Yeah, you keep half your piety. So our piety is that now it can be up here. We have these dots, which represent the empty tank of piety. And as these fill up, they'll become stars. Uh, so uh, let's look at what the shining one gives us. Also, sometimes abbreviated TSO. So shining is going to give us uh, this occasion watches over us. That means that if we suffer a fatal hint, a hit, a fatal blow, it's possible the shining one will decide to let us ignore that blow. The shining one prevents you from stabbing unaware foes. So the shining one's kind of like a righteous, honorable guy. He doesn't like to unfair fights. So you cannot go around stabbing foes that don't know you're there. You have to fight them fair. Uh, the Shining One partially shields you from negative energy. It gives you negative energy resistance. Um, negative energy torment is actually one of the... So as a gargoyle, that's a little bit less important because torment we resist already, but there's lots of other things. Like a lot of demon spells, stuff like that. Mm, I think a lot of necromancy stuff is negative energy. You can probably just... Any kind of necromancy. Uh, ne necromancy, yeah. You radiate a small righteous aura, and others within it are easier to kill. And this is an important one for uh, a fighter. In that little halo, I think it's called a halo, uh, that little glowing zone around us, uh, we have an easier time hitting people. So, as a fighter, it's going to give us a two-hit bonus, which is really nice. Which means, I, you can also think of it this way. We can, we can use a worse two-hit weapon, and I'll, I'll look at my weapon in a second. I don't even know if I've done that. Uh, we can use a worse two-hit weapon and get, uh, and which usually are more powerful, do more damage. Um, but it hits more often, the same as a less powerful weapon, which usually has a better to-hit ratio. I mean, a two-hit number. You can, you and your allies can gain power from killing the unholy and evil. This is really how you gain piety, but you can also gain piety by killing normal stuff. You can call upon the Shining One for Divine Shield. This is the most basic thing. It improves your shield rating. And it does not increase in encumbrance. I guess the Shining One is supposed to be the one holding the shield. You can channel Blast of Cleansing Flame. It's a pretty cool thing. It, hap it um, hits everything in two squares around you except for two diagonals. So it would hit everywhere in this box. So the wall here, including the tiles right around outside of the halo. You can see this yellowish halo. Except for the four far corners. I think. I think that's how it works. And that... Uh, it, it hits all those with a kind of like a frost nova, fire nova. Just all those tiles are hit with a some kind of spell which does damage, uh, especially especially devastating. Like just ruins demons and the undead and all that. So there's you know a lot of late game potential here. Uh, you can also summon a divine warrior, which is an angel or something else. I forget what it's called, but. Last one is the Shining One will bless your weapon with the Holy Wrath once. I think that this is not that useful, except for it also has some side effect. I've, I, the funny thing is I've never actually used it. It's one of those things where I'm like such a min-maxer and a hoarder. I always hoard like uh, all these possibilities. 
and then I end up being like, oh, well, I beat the game and I didn't use it, or usually, more often, oh, I'm dead and I didn't <laughs> use it. Should've used that earlier. We'll st oh, grinder. A grinder's not gonna be very, oh, nope, extremely dangerous. Why, because paralysis? Probably because of paralysis. I feel like I can beat Grinder. Dungeon 5. Okay, well, let's start slowly backing up. This is the most dangerous place for us to... Okay. Okay, now we can fight these guys a little bit. Actually, they're... I'm gonna grab this. Whoops. I'm not sure whether I want to... I resist with significant effort, so he will be able to paralyze me pretty easily. I'd rather fight on the staircase up. Okay, suddenly lose the ability to move. That's not too bad because we did, we're did. we stuck in the little hallway. I can move again, and Grinder's next to me. What if I just try to kill Grinder? I feel like I should just be able to kill him. So he's hitting me. Um, he's hitting me more. I can move again. Oh, oh, he hit me good. Oh, he hit me good. Pain. Oh, that's the worst. How do we gonna do this? Okay. Eh. He might be out of mana, I'm hoping. So we're gonna go all the way all the way around here. I will fight here. Okay, pain. Ah! Oh, almost dead, but he blinked. Okay, yeah, we got oh, they blinked. I'm just gonna wait here so he can't cast a spell from a distance. Oh, okay, we got him. <laughs> that was a little bit risky. I probably, I don't know how aggressive I should have been there, but let's uh, just cut up one corpse. Um, let's see, mace. I, I should be looking for a better weapon, too, ultimately, but hey, we're doing all right. Survive. So far, we've done uh, a fair amount of surviving. <laughs> Nemlik Zoba. I don't know what you do. Uh, Trickstercon, whose powers are invoked through magical packs of... Oh, this is the card one! I've never done this one, but I, I really think it'd be cool. I'll have to try it another time. Okay, and uh, done exploring. So, so far, we're done with these levels. I think now is an okay time for us to go face off against Sigmund. Hopefully, hey, look, we're going to push our luck, because our luck has been pretty good, and there he is. I mean, we might as well just stand here. I think he can paralyze us, by the way. Oh, confuse. Oh, we are, we are confused. Oh, we got him. So I wasn't too worried because we could have backed up and gone down the stairs. Uh, worse comes worse. I think we also have... I think it's also time to, to deal with Crazy Youth here. Who is a... can be very dangerous. I've died to him surprisingly before. So he slowed us. Okay, we got lucky there. We're fast plus slow, that's crazy. <laughs> I think it's a, a Staff of yeah, Chaos, which is of random effects. Oh, but this plus one cloak is perfect. So our AC is 12, 8, 9. This should put us up to 14. And that cloak, it doesn't occupy... Oh, it just occupies one inventory slot, so it doesn't clash with our armor, which is great. We try wielding this mace just to see if it's anything special. It's not. They usually aren't, but... And uh, we prefer our flail, because the flail, um, although it has lower to hit, that matters less now that we're... Oops. Now that we are, um, we have that halo. So I probably could have done this a much better way. Basically, if you use the bracket, square bracket, open square bracket and close square bracket, open, so the left bracket, the open bracket goes up, and I'm going to use right, the close square bracket, to go down. This is when you're in shift X mode. And since we're done with this one, I'm going to hit shift, period, so to go to my nearest down, and then I'm going to hit enter. So this will just take me to that spot, and now I'll go down the floor, and we're on a new floor. Dungeon 6. So far, so far we've dealt with three or four name ones. 
It's kind of impressive. You usually don't find this many. I mean, it's good for experience, if that's what we want. How are our skills doing? Every now and then I can come in here and make sure, see, evocations and invocations have both been turned on. Now they are not, be, they're 0% trained right now. Now I, we are gonna want invocations to be trained. So I'm gonna set a target for invocations of actually eight, which is I think when my two of the main spells turn to zero for the, the shining one. And for evocations, I also wanna train it to two. No, 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 I want to train it. That didn't work at all. M equals J two, enter. Okay, good. Now we're done. And they'll train when we start evoking things or I can force it. If I do the star, the prioritize training, they will, uh, wow, it's quite a ways to go without finding anything. Um, yeah, then it'll actually prioritize it. Okay, boots, we can use boots, so let's get and wear these boots, which are gonna increase our AC by one to 16. So boots and cloaks, just natively, if you put them on, they give you one AC. It's not much, but it's something. Just wait here, kill these guys. Explore while still hurt. There's an escape. I, th I don't think I did the escape. Oh my gosh. Edmund, with his plus three dial f dire flail of protection, is extremely dangerous. Except for they call him dangerous. I, gosh. Plus three dire flail does a lot of damage. The jealous sibling of Sigmund, indeed the youngest of nine brothers, he has none of Sigmund's skills in magic, but makes up for it with skills in fighting and a canny head for money. He's eager to prove his superiority by killing hapless adventurers with his expensive flail and quick wit. Okay... I guess we'll just make for the nearest escape. What happened? I don't know how we're going to do this. Am, am I... I'm only at one, so I don't think I can... If I hit A, these are my abilities, which I can do. So Shift A tells you what your innate abilities are. A is stuff like... Uh, like the religious piety stuff that you can cast. Um, I really don't want to fight Edmund. Not yet. Let's wait until we get to our next experience level, or, you know, a little bit more powerful. So I'm gonna go... <laughs> different downstairs. Probably not a downstairs, which I don't know anything about. That doesn't sound like a good idea. And let's go this way. My goodness! This feels like a part particularly bad, I mean, a aggressive dungeon. It's all random, of course. This guy blinks a whole bunch, he just blinks, blinks, blinks. I don't mind that, because it usually means that if you are about to die to him, and he hits like a tank, despite him being like a little frog. Uh, okay, so now we'll just wait, and we'll only attack him when he gets close. So that worked out pretty well. Now, you may be thinking like, oh, we're doing it, we have no problems with this guy, but he Oh, he tele he's going to teleport. No, he didn't! Well. Rip. <laughs> I guess he's dead. That worked out pretty well for us. Good amount of experience, I assume. Okay, that little path didn't last very long. But boy, we're, you know, we're just we're countering a lot of named creatures. And I'm happy with that. If we end up killing them, it's great. We probably won't be doing anything. Summon Guardian Golem. That sounds amazing. I need to do an Earthcaster at some point. It's probably my favorite school of magic in this game. Seems pretty fun. Oh, it's Prince Ribbit's friends out to get us. Okay. So I, when you're auto exploring, pressing any key will stop that. I kind of wanted to stop. I don't want to go in one particular direction, the direction which is most likely to lead me. Now, this is extremely dangerous, a scorpion, um, if we weren't immune to poison. But being as we are, a little bit less scary. How many times have I said that? A thousand times. But just to give you an idea of how important it can be if you want to choose uh, to be immune to poison. A little bit worried about encountering Edmund. Oh, 
I just fear that he's around every corner. Okay, we got Wand of Flames. We do have Wand of Frost as well. I don't know Edmund's resistance is. I have a feeling he's this way. Uh, please don't hurt me. Okay. Ah, uh, orcs. Let's wait for them to come here. Kill. Okay, a plus zero flail of crushing. That is fantastic. Finally, we have our first decent weapon. I mean, it's really not much better. So let's just do a comparison here. Um, a flail, plus zero, 10, 1.4. I think the mace is plus three, eight, 1.4. So you can see it's a little bit better accuracy, but since we have the halo. Now this is gonna be, you're gonna just wait for what, what the huge difference. Plus zero, 10, 1.4. What are you talking about, Tortuga? It inflicts extra damage upon your enemies. I think it's a plus 33% hit, um, or plus 33% damage. So, you know, that's not just, I think it's not just your base damage. I think it's after your strength is uh, applied. I'm not, I, I probably should know, but I don't know the exact um, algorithm for it. Anyways, we're going to wield this because it's just simply better and drop our old flail. You know, we have a few tomahawks. I wonder if we could tomahawk. Ooh, a rune longsword. Well, we're not going to do swords, so I'm not even going to bother. It's just going to be a temptation. There's going to be a lot of items. This is one of the things you have to get used to in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. There's going to be a lot of items that you are not going to use. You're just not going to use a lot of items, and you have to be okay with that. So we actually... See, this is what I mean by you can explore and miss somebody. We came back down and explored, and we did not find Edmund. I'm kind of okay with that, though, so I think we'll go down. It sounds so much like the Lord of the Rings, this Europa Universe House 4. But it's not. So this is dangerous territory, by the way, Dungeon Level 7. I'm expecting the, us to find the ecumenical temple here, which is, uh, there's, like, we have already pledged ourselves to the shiny one, but there's a temple which will appear at some point where all the gods you haven't seen will be revealed. Well, I mean, with a few exceptions. I think Jiva is not necessarily present there, but there's a few exceptions, um, but they give you an opportunity to find the main, the mainstream gods if you haven't already encountered them. So we, we're lucky enough that we did. One of enslavement. Now these, um, oh, wow. I feel like we're finding these guys really early. Now I'm, I'm guessing that their stats scale, their like hit dice basically scales um, based on the level we find them on. A uh, whip of electrocution, that's, I mean, that's something we probably could even use. I think what I'm going to do is retreat, but ultimately what I think I'm going to do is call this video to a close here. This is a good place for us to contemplate how to defeat Pyko. Uh He carries around a whole bunch of these slaves, but the slaves are absolutely useless. They just, they don't do any damage. Okay, this guy says it's, it looks dangerous. I don't think so. Killing this monster yields no experience, nutrition, or items. So, it, they're not, yeah, it's not maybe even necessary to kill them. I mean, I think if Pykel is killed, they are just free spirits. They, f they are neutral bodies after that. So, we'll do our best not to kill them because, yeah, let's just try. But I'm going to wrap this video up here, keeping these nice and short. So, thanks for watching. And until the next video, feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I do... If, for those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, I mean, this is coming one video late, I should have said this last video, but I do pay very close attention to my comment section, and I try to reply to everyone. Um, that's becoming a little bit more difficult as the channel grows bigger, but uh, it's still at least my intent, and I certainly read all of them. So, uh, if I don't respond in the comment section, I'll at least probably respond by video. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.